Well, this is an ultrasound study of uh, 35 years old male presenting with severe acute excruciating right uh, pain in the right hypochondrium. This is the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder. This is the sludge within it, and you can see multiple tiny ecogenic particles within the. <coughs> Sorry, within the sludge as well as within the anterior wall fixed. This is the portal vein. So we have just started the ultrasound. Let's move on and see what else we can see or is there. Now you can see that there are multiple tiny ecogenic particles and if I magnify the view you will see a very typical V-shaped artifact which is a short reverberation artifact we call it as a combatel artifact if you take this ecogenic particle or a polyp, you can see that these small tiny lines, V-shaped and small in size, it persists and this is called the comatel artifact which is commonly, most commonly seen in cases of gallbladder disease uh, where cholesterol is deposited or a small polyp is there. So this is a polyp, small polyp measuring not, not more than 1.2 millimeters and these are intramural uh, the, that was intramural this is in the lumen this ecogenic area giving posterior uh, re short reverberation artifact three lines that taper off in a v-shaped manner and this measures 3.4 millimeters and uh, this is a cholesterol calculus we should always see the fundus of the gallbladder a very important area to scan here you can again see multiple cholesterol calculi now those that you see within the lumen of the gallbladder are the cholesterol calculi. None of these you can see is given, giving this dark, sharp posterior shadow. Rather a V-shaped comet tail artifact is seen from, the, from all these. Now here if you see there are few uh, ecogenic, shiny ecogenic, shiny ecogenic particles with the anterior wall as well as with the posterior wall and uh, they also give uh, common tail artifact. These are small polyps. Now patient in left lateral decubitus posture. See the movement of these uh, particles, all are cholesterol. You can see these are all cholesterol calculi. This is small amount of debris. This is the fundal region. You can see the movement of the particles within the lumen as well as you can see there are particles that are fixed with the anterior wall and there are multiple particles fixed with the posterior wall as well. One of these is here, this one.
this view is to show you the landmarks. This is the portal vein at the neck of the gallbladder. This is the hepatic artery in transfer section. This is the common bile. Now you see this. will see a row of dense shiny ecogenic particles attached with the anterior wall. These are small polyps. They are all giving combat tail artifact. They are condensed more in the lower part of the anterior wall and they are fixed. They don't move. So this is a case of uh, adenomyomatosis or more preferably this is a case of cholesterolosis cholesterolosis of the gallbladder. Now this is the liver, it's normal. We don't see any evidence of intrahepatic bilateralia at present time of the ultrasound. There is no dilation of the common bile duct, no intrahepatic bile duct ectasia, no pleural fluid kidney, part of the upper pole of the kidney and the liver, normal. Now here we come at our case. This is the gallbladder. Rest, I think you can make it yourself that these are small polyps. These are cholesterol calculi. This is small amount of debris within the gallbladder lumen. Then this is a case of cholesterolosis of the gallbladder with the possible differential of adenomyomatosis that cannot be ruled out with uh, ultrasound. So this is our case of the day. Again. <coughs> However, the advanced stage leads to you know, uh, a condition which is called a rocket chances as called sinuses. However, I will not say that it is present over here as there is no sign of acute polycystitis. And in most of these cases, the wall is not thick and we see that the wall is not thick. It does not measure more than 2.5 millimeter, and there is no sign of acute cholecystitis in this. No fluid is seen around the wall of the gallbladder. Uh, no obstructive element is seen. Lopinus. So this is a case of hyperplastic cholecystosis or simply if you can say if you just I if I just write down that this is a case of uh, adenum myomatosis of the gallbladder that will suffice. Thank you very much.